saw the self part of the process We ain't get my fire from Hold on Okay Alright CNC Electronics Repair and Sales Alright So this is a I have your Stetson Amplifier HL 1200.4 Eyeline This is the Eyeline brand And the problem with this one is I Well actually I repaired it already Because the phone Was battery was dead and I didn't know So now I'm gonna tell you guys what I did Alright it was badly burnt so I'm gonna see let me adjust this right here real quick so you guys can see some more Okay, so this here power supply MOSFETs, yeah, both side burn. It uses four MOSFET, two for the side, two for the side. Okay, and it uses four output MOSFET on this side, four on this side, 80 total. And uh, you know, they have the, the bridge rectifier diodes here. All right, the transistor type, and right this one. I'm gonna put up a picture of it when I, I took the picture to show you guys what really or with badly burned it was. All right, so these now, the most wet that was here was this part number, which hmm, I don't normally see these. This part number, I try to look up, it, but it's giving me some other. I don't know why, but. Let me show you how badly burned it they were. It was like this, man. Yeah, it was like this, but it was burnt really bad. All right. So now, yeah, one side was burnt really bad. That I took one of them. But this side now, it has these MOSFET. Uses these MOSFET, which I'm not familiar with. IRFB. 448 yeah yeah this one used this so now it was not a big problem for me when I saw it I was like oh why they use this type of MOSFET when they could just simply use the the IRF1404 which is a strong MOSFET it's a really powerful MOSFET normally Tarams use them when they just come out now I see they're using a lot of different MOSFETs for their power supply for some strange reason and you know but that's what I replace on this side for those I replace it and yeah I pour it up it was really cool but I didn't test it as yet to know if it's plain but I pour it up everything yeah it's fine and everything but the post the output MOSFET is also a weird part number. I think it would be RFB four one one five or four RFB four forty two twenty seven. But it wasn't. It was a IRFB five six twenty. Which those I replaced those already with in other amplifier. I see these already, but they're not that popular to me. But I replaced them with the regular IRFB. That I just call out 41 15 or 42, yeah, 42 27 and IRFB 41 27. I think, yeah, I use those for, and even the IRFB 38 and 20 I use in this era already in the amplifier like this. So, same with the same circuit, and they work fine. So, yeah, you if you have a problem like that, you shouldn't have a problem to, you know. To replace it and even these RF1404 you could replace these with um you could use something say um IRF3205 yeah it works just the same you shouldn't have a problem so and then the next thing you have two 10 ohm resistor a gate resistor for each side of these MOSFET yeah they were burned too so the gate to this uh, one in inward to the circuit inwards they, you have them and to the heat sink you have some 10k those are fine so i didn't have to replace those 
and that's about it for it i didn't replace anything else you know this one was that the hardest thing was well mm, let me see it was to solder these little beanie tiny tiny little resistor here 10 ohm resistor yeah and both sides they were burnt for the gate you know but yeah and everything looks good you know and yeah this is a power supply cap is like what 63 volts 2200 microfarad identical side so you know yeah I mean the rail caps these are the rail caps yeah this is the power supply caps which is power supply cap what four four thousand seven hundred uf at 16 volts so yeah this one <sighs> right so you see the eye line what virgin this doesn't come with a lot of knobs so fine tuning this is like a we would say like this is a raw amplifier you know all you have to do is just higher lower you know you don't have nothing for now some people use this with the the dsp the, and the equalizer preamp or you know crossover you have to fine tune it for who want to do that but some people they just play straight like this you know for high if they're gonna use it for high and for you know flat or subwoofer whichever what they want to play use it to play but yeah but i'm gonna give it a test and you'll see i'm gonna test it for the first time okay guys let's see get the speaker This one is, let me try front, mm, well, whichever way, it doesn't matter which way I really plug it. Come on, come on, come on, alright. So now, Thing at minimum, minimum. All right, so all right, let's go it on, guys. So, as you can see, blue light and the fan, it's inside here. Yeah, you can see the blue light. So, wow, I didn't even mount these output to the board back, but don't worry. I didn't screw them down. I don't, I'm not gonna test it for a long, long time. So, alright, so let me do cement. Mm. Alright, so and I guess that's how it is.
So I just put it on bridge. channel now and see because Okay, so as you guys see, everything works, which I give thanks because, yep, so I just got these in, so next video I'm going to do, or I'm going to do, let me show you. I have this one, it's an eye line, this is a 2000 watt. So yeah, this is gonna be the next project. I'm gonna, you're gonna this one. I'm gonna make the video from from beginning to end. So you will see when this one, okay? So make sure I'm gonna keep this phone char really charged, so you guys can see. So yeah, so this one is basically just like the other one. It doesn't have anything to fine tune it. Just a straight like I like. I prefer this way, like you know, but because I like to use my preamp and do my stuff, you know. You know, so this will be the other one I'm doing. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up, you know, and ask me a question or ask me. If you need to know like what MOSFET use you can use for replacement and stuff like that. Yeah, because I do a lot of that, you know, I can help you guys with that a lot i have a lot of amplifier that i have to do that with and you know to find out what works you know cross reference and all that stuff so whenever you guys whatever you want to know just ask and i'll let you guys know keep you updated so i wish i could make video like more regular but it's hard for me to do so soon i'll be able to make video like every week or like you know i would say every week i'm not gonna push it too much you know i'll say every week i can make a video for you guys because i repair a lot of amplifiers and you know sometimes i just go repair it and then you know don't make any video because i don't have time to like to you know that's but that's all my work is for now so i'm just gonna do my best i can answer you guys question when you ask so don't worry if i don't ask answer it like the same day or stuff like that because sometimes i'm really busy so that's it for now for it now guys even i was thinking this guy this the switch on ic here i didn't even have to replace this so see this is yeah but even though it was burnt really bad yeah i didn't have to replace it but you know everything work has to be good so and let me guys let me tell you first before i go the driver i see this uses irs 292s and it used four so yeah let this use that one this is not like the sound digital that uses the hmm okay i see so sound digital uses the irs 2957s okay this one uses the IRS 292S. Okay. So, you guys know? Yeah. Don't get them mixed up. Don't get them confused. Alright, guys. That's it. Right? CNC Electronics. Repair and sales. Sales and repair, whichever way you guys want to put it. You know? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video.